Now then, welcome back to the channel. Today we are using this, the Canon EOS 40D. This is a APS-C camera from 2007, and it was around at the same time as the original 5D. This was the high-end APS-C camera at that point in time. So today we're gonna to have a look and see what this can do with some halfway decent lenses. So let's jump and have a look in the bag before we get started with the first composition, which is right behind me. All right, so when I said in the bag, I kind of meant like on the bag because this thing is too big to actually fit inside. Uh, this is the Sigma 150 to 500 F5 to 6.3 uh, Super Zoom. This is going to be awesome for when we move further up the road and try and get some of the birdie shots. So that's lens number one. I brought with me a simple 18 to 55 kit lens so you can see what's possible with that. And I've also brought with me the Tamron 90mm f2.8 macro. This is a great lens, very sharp. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get with that. So now I'm just going to move over towards the river and line up this first shot. So I found the first composition over here. I've gone straight away for the 150 to 500. And what we've got is a branch trailing the surface of the water and it's creating this kind of triangle reflection. I'll add that to the ripples that's on the surface of the water and it looks pretty cool. So I'll put all the settings on the screen. So here's the first photograph. Alright, so that's the first image out of the way. Let's have a quick look at this camera. Um, it's built like a tank. This is a pro camera. You've got your top screen, you've got your magnesium alloy body, you've got your weather sealing. This thing weighs in at 750 grams for the body only. And as much as I love my A6000, it feels like a toy. This feels like a camera. It's awesome. So yeah, build quality, you've got absolutely no worries. Alright, so I picked this up for just under 70 pounds used. So what you're getting is an absolute bargain. Uh, it's got 10 megapixel sensor, but since we're in the world of super resolution and many people only post into social media platforms, 10 megapixels is overkill. This thing produces beautiful images, so you don't need to be going to spend thousands and thousands to get into the game when you've got things like this still available. All right, so the reason I'm showing you this camera with good glass is because it's the glass that matters. The lenses are the important bit. The sensor, yes, is going to capture the image, but those lenses, if they're soft and mushy, your images are going to be soft and mushy regardless of the camera you're using. If you've got sharp lenses, your images are going to be sharp. So yeah, always invest in lenses before the body. So while Chris is just finishing up over there, I'm going to start packing up my gear and we're going to move on further down the road. There is an area where you can photograph the birds, the uh, songbirds, the robins and all such as that. And then behind us, there is a small pine forest area. So we're going to check that out as well. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get some macro shots around there. So I'm going to pack up my gear and we're going to get moving.
Right, so that's some birdie photos. Chris is now in his element having a play with said lens. Um, quick rundown of the settings because I didn't video any of that as you can tell it was a lot of me standing there and then when I wasn't standing there and something happened it was just fire away fire away so 250th of a second ISO at about 800 and um, the aperture was as fast as the lens goes at 500mm which is 6.3 and the lens is stabilized so I kept the shutter speed a little bit slower than it's probably ideal for these type of beds but I didn't want to push the ISO uh, too far I've seen the images at 1600 and they are decent enough but I wanted to keep it a little bit lower because it caps out at 1600 although it will extend up to 3200 but I suspect that looks kind of rough so now we're going to wrap up again we're going to move around to the pine forest a bit and look for some macro shots all right so I said we we're going to look for macro shots and just as we pulled into the car in the car park I spotted these little purple flowers on the drive-in so let me show you what I'm talking about Them bad boys are our macro shot. Let's go grab the cannon. <clears throat> Alright, so I finally figured out this composition. I've gone for a dead straight down look. We've got all three flowers in the frame, and the green at the base of it is just nicely poking out of the edges of the frame. It frames it quite nicely. So, as for settings, it's 1 125th 1 of a second, ISO 200, and F 2.8. <laughs> So there you go, that is the Canon EOS 40D. Um, definitely well worth looking into if you're in the market for something APS-C. That's very robust, well built. I mean, this essentially is built like a pro camera. It's really, really decent. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I'm doing two videos every single week. If you want the free presets, they're linked down below as are the socials. So hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one.